Sad, Dr. Fuchs. It's Fuchs, Dr. Fuchs, but you can call me Evelyn. Good morning, Ruby. Last week I asked you to set an alarm so you would stop sleeping into our appointments. <laughs> Totally. I remember you saying that. I just have, um, you know, been um, sleeping a lot, I guess, since since your mother's passing? She didn't pass, right? She wasn't playing for the Knicks. She died. Are you ready to talk about your mother's death? Oh my fucking God, no. Understood. Yet, I only take on clients that are truly ready for the demanding work of union psychoanalysis and I need for you to be engaged or I will have to tell your father that this special arrangement is not working. You need to be engaged. Guess what? <laughs> well, lucky you, bitch. I'm engaged. I'm engaged. I'm engaged. I'm engaged. I'm getting married, bitch. Didn't you just quite recently meet this gentleman? But, you know, he's he's nice, and it's given me some perspective, okay? And every time we call it's it's comforting okay and i don't want to be alone anymore honesty i like that uh i am a wee bit concerned though because venus is currently squaring neptune in the sky and Therefore, you might be seeing relationships through rose-colored glasses. <laughs> I didn't realize you were into astrology. Weird. Like, you never think your, your shrink is going to be into astrology. Like, if you can't tell the difference between what's real and what's fake, then... How can you tell me what to do? Well, it's very funny because I am a Jungian analyst, a devotee of Carl Jung, and Carl Jung is the greatest modern astrologer, so it shouldn't be too surprising. But, of course, academia loves to sanitize his body of work because it's simply not very convenient with their phenomenological understandings of the universe predicated no! on the rejection Stop. of the universe. Oh my god. <laughs> You're so boring sometimes. Do you know that? Thank you. Uh, but why don't you just tell me about your dream from last evening? I didn't have one. Not good. Oh, well... I was at this Zoom bridal shower power hour that my friends threw for me, which was like super fun and, you know, really great. But then I got too drunk and there was no one there to hold back my hair when I puked. And then I got really sad. And I hate quarantine. Okay, I, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it! <sighs> oh! I hear you. But, as I have stated repeatedly at this point, uh, you cannot engage in union analysis if you make no fucking effort to remember your Dreams. Okay, I mean, I wrote one down the other day. Thank you. 
All right, you condescending bitch. In case you didn't realize, I'm going through a plague here, okay? And my mom just died. So maybe my therapist harassing me to remember my stupid fucking dreams isn't the move. Why don't you check yourself? There you are wrong. I am not a therapist. I am a psychoanalyst. I analyze dreams. It's, it's right there in the word. You're a fucking square. So why don't you tell me about that dream, the one that you managed to write down? <sighs> okay. In my dream, I was cheating on my fiance with this other guy that I've been seeing over Zoom. We're FaceTiming, we're pleasuring ourselves, and then he comes. But when he comes, his come sort of became a snake. And it like sort of, you know, jumped through the webcam and started chasing me around my apartment. And I'm like, ah! help, 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 help. And there's no one coming to help because it's COVID. And so then I ran into my kitchen and I grabbed a kitchen knife and I was like, fuck. Okay. And I was like, yes, I did it. But when I did, okay, it became a severed penis and it just fell on the floor. I actually heard that dream a few times before. It's a very common neurosis so you're dreaming about snake dicks yes i've had my i've had my share of snake dick dreams so what does it mean the first thing that well actually back backtracking just a minute here did i hear you correctly did you say that you were cheating on your recent fiance with another individual in in real life i know it's messy i'll end it it's just his name's Jordan. We met on Instagram. He's a male model. It's not a big deal, okay? It's just like sleeping with new guys inspires me. Inspires you how? Well, like creatively, you know, like the Zoom Bridal Shower Power Hour was my idea, actually. I, I, I sent paper invitations. Do you want to see? Mm. They're so cute. Except one of the stars, the diamonds came off. But Charming, yes. Of course I respect your right to sleep around. And of course I have unconditional positive regard for you, no matter your actions. But, uh... I must say that deception is also a very heavy load for the mind and the soul to bear, and perhaps the dream is pointing to the possibility that your truth will soon be exposed. Ooh. Exposed. Returning to your dream, Masturbation shows regression to childlike behavior. I'm not childlike! And also, I, I did not masturbate as a child, okay? Babies masturbate in utero, so I <laughs> do not accept your statement, but we can table that for now. Snakes, of course, represent the erect phallus. Hard cocks? Yes, one way to put it. As such, they symbolize the primordial life force, which is once creator and destroyer. Like the phallus, snakes can terrify. They arise out of nowhere, flared up, hissing, threatening, the very image of annihilation. Snakes. Knives, peni, all are objects of Mars, he who penetrates and takes by force. Wow. Got it. 
dicks are scary. Who knew? Um, actually, I did. I knew that. But I have to go because that guy wants me to check in. He's so possessive. He likes me to, you know, call like every couple of hours. It's really cute. Although it does kind uh, of make me wonder if he knows I'm cheating on him. But like, there's no way, right? Right. Which guy? Evelyn. Why does it matter? Okay. You're literally obsessed with me. It's creepy. Can I, can I just say one thing? Don't! My god! I just told you I'm leaving. Just save it. Okay? I just, I don't want to be here. And, okay, bye. Make good choices. Oh, 